I'm Kanako Harada, Associate Professor of the University of Tokyo, belonging to the Department of Bioengineering and Department of Mechanical Engineering. So when I was a child, I wanted to become a medical doctor, but I didn't want to see the blood. So I decided to study engineering to contribute to medicine. I'm studying surgical robots for eye, pediatric, and neurosurgery. And we are studying automation and virtual reality simulators for the robots. Surgeons have defined the level of skills, and we believe that the automation of surgical robots can enhance the overall quality of surgery. For example, in current robotic surgery, the robot just replicates the surgeon's hand motion. So if the surgeon is bad, the surgical outcome can be bad. But if we have the automation of the surgical robot, we can compensate for the differences among the surgeons. In our laboratory, we have three professors and about 20 students, and most of them are master course or undergrad students. And they are studying, for example, uh, microscopic image processing and uh, machine learning for the robotic control. Okay, my name is Yuki Koyama. I'm a master course student, and I research on automation of eye surgical robots. I believe automation can enhance the quality of eye surgery, and automation also can reduce the risk. So we use virtual reality simulators to study new robotic controls because it's efficient and we don't want to risk the expensive equipment. My name is Mikinori Kanehara. I'm an undergraduate student and I'm studying virtual reality simulator for robotic eye surgery. The virtual reality system is useful for eye surgeon to learn how to control robots. I'm very happy when surgeons give positive comments on the student's work. So what makes our robots so special is we are trying to blend human skills with AI-based automation. We are also developing patient models to evaluate surgical robots before they are using on actual patients. In future, we want to do clinical research using our robots to demonstrate that we can perform more safe and accurate surgery on real patients. The biggest challenge in our research domain is to understand the surgeon's needs in a quantitative manner and also to evaluate surgical robots without sacrificing animals. So I find this field very interesting and I hope others feel the same uh, because this field requires a knowledge of robotics and surgery and uh, regulatory issues and it's a multidisciplinary research and it's very fascinating. In the near future, I want to increase the diversity of the laboratory in terms of age, gender, and nationality, and the research background, because the diversity is a strength in multidisciplinary research.